Hey guys, and uh, this time in this video I'm going to show you a replay from a uh, player Tadej and he is driving a T62, the tier 10 Russian medium tank and this medium tank like uh, 140 and T62 are pretty much the same but the T62, uh, the C T60, T62's turret is much better it's uh, more, it has more armor but the gun depression is not as good as on 140 and uh, yeah, that that's like uh, the biggest difference between these tanks, and also the T62 is a bit slower. Like top speed of uh, 140 is, I think, 55 kilometers per hour, and T62 is only 50. So yeah, the 140 is, uh, I guess, a bit faster, and the uh, gun depression is uh, just a bit better. And reload time, of course, it's almost the same. Uh, but uh, yeah, also the T62, I think, I'm not really 100% sure. But to me it looks like the T62 is a bit more accurate than the 140 And that's why I kind of prefer the T62 over the 140 uh, So as you can see Tade was trying to make some blind shots on the bushes on E1 He was trying to uh, hit their scout And uh, this Skoda T50 on the hill made uh, yeah, that was an amazing mistake from that guy because he went all the way up, he got spotted by T-49 and he got shot by 3-4 tanks, so he's he's alive but he's on 200 HP and that's not going to be a good game for that guy. Uh, Tade decided to go for the middle spot, I mean for, for the middle part of the map and from this part of the map you can basically control everything. As you can see the 3090 somehow got spotted and I'm guessing that that 1390 actually tried to shoot because there is no way in the world that Jack Panzer would be able to spot the 1390 on E1. But yeah, of course that 1390 was probably greedy and he tried to make some damage on some of those guys. He got spotted, he got removed. So again, one more guy. This guy also, the M103, wide open uh, and nice. Uh, <laughs> great success. Uh, Skoda T50 was in front of the 103 because the 103 was spotted and he was trying to go back to hide and he was uh, the, the Skoda, yeah, he was, the, that guy was unlucky, it's not really M103's fault, he was just going back to get to the safety and uh, he, the T50 was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Also, as you could see, the FE, the TD, tier 10 British TD, he was uh, <laughs> that guy was trying to get to the bush on E1. Like it's a smart idea to go with a tank destroyer uh, to try to get to the spotting bush on uh, Prohorovka. That guy is uh, freaking Einstein. So yeah, like the enemy team so far like started failing really hard. And uh, as you can see they won the hill and Tade is going to play a bit more aggressive here on this side now. Maybe he can make a shot on this guy and uh, RNG screwed him over. Maybe this time. Let's see. Yeah, that one was a pen. And uh, again, now he can make uh, some good shots on the middle of the map on RU, on WZ maybe. Uh, because the T10 was dropping down and the TVP was, was less spotted on C9, C8. So that guy was also probably running away. And. Uh, Yeah, he's just uh, making good trades now. He only received one shot from Aryu. Somehow Aryu pent his front without using the gold, but okay. And just look at these guys, they're all suiciding. Like, when I'm playing, and I, I notice whenever somebody sends me a replay, and I watch the replay, I, I just see enemies going full special mode and they're doing nothing and you are just farming damage on them. And when I'm playing this game, everybody's camping, everybody's hiding, everybody's playing safe, nobody's going YOLO, and I always have to fight, fight and fight for some damage. Or, worst case scenario, everybody goes YOLO on me and I do nothing in the game. And when I'm watching the replays, like most of the guys send me, I just see enemies going full YOLO, doing nothing, uh, suiciding and giving free damage. And in this, yeah, in this game, also the WZ was a free damage. He was like he went full uh, special mode, 
uh, WZAFK is so also free damage from that guy. That RU was also kind of special. And uh, yeah. So this was kind of risky that he was going for this guy like from this side because now he was on the open and the Jack Panzer can probably hit him here and he's one shot for Jack Panzer. T54 he won. Bounced him once. He just bounced the side of the turret. He hit his commander's hedge and only damaged the commander's hedge without doing any damage to it. So again he was a bit lucky here but uh, so far 5k damage. He had a couple of blind shots so far I think and um, he only had one more uh, APCR shell and rest uh, 14 hits and 2 HE shells. So the mouse was still full HP and the Jack Panzer as well and that's why this is not looking good so far. Uh, the AMX 30 was on one shot but uh, yeah, let, let's see how will this, how will he play this off. So far he was doing great. He received only like, that TVP shot him two times and the RU shot him once. So he was now moving back and uh, like the same way he got here. And uh, he loaded HE for some reason, maybe to, yeah, because he, now he's lacking, lacking shells. And he needs to make a good use use of it, and uh, yeah, the, this this wasn't enough to kill the conqueror. But maybe he can kill the AMX30 or mouse. Like uh, this, this was not really a good idea to go because he was now surrounded by three tanks: the f almost full HP mouse, the conqueror, and the AMX30. Doesn't matter that the AMX30 and uh, conqueror are both one shots because they can still. They still have guns, they can still shoot you, so... But the Conqueror died and the AMX-30 was left here, and the mouse also... Okay, he's going to kill this guy, which is of course a smart decision, because now he can just... Uh, yeah, the mouse... Mouse is going to die, like... Uh, uh, but this mouse was also... Special. Because he went in over the ridge to shoot the T-60, and... He didn't even shoot him, he just went over and... He kept on moving. Okay, now, yeah, now he's going to shoot him, and he's shooting gold for some reason. I mean, Tade is shooting gold because he ran out of the APCR, but I don't think that Mouse did anything in this game. And of course, he had more APCR shells, but decided to go for the for the. I mean, the Mouse had probably more AP shells and decided to go for APCR. And uh, yeah, only Jack Panzer left alive here. He. Tade has only six, yeah, six APCR shells left. So Jack Panzer is still full HP, and the problem is that Conqueror is also one shot, and Tade is one shot to Jack Panzer. And uh, let's see how will this, how will this go? And uh, also, it's kind of bad because even if he like manages to flank the Jack Panzer, he's not going to be able to kill him because six shells so that's about uh, 900 uh, I mean 1900 damage so if he had seven shots that would be perfect that would be just enough to kill the Jack Panzer but only six so let's see let's see what happens now yeah it would it would not really be a good idea to try to do some risky shots where t where the Jack Panzer is peeking frontally just a bit or something like that so he really needs to get in a good position and uh, some for some reason the Jack Panzer stopped maybe he went to AFK or he just gave up on fighting I mean there was no reason to give up because the both of them are one shots and he is full HP so with some luck he would be able to kill them both but yeah he uh, that they ha have left uh, with uh, Two shells now, and uh, like, just let me pause for a second. If I was playing this game and I had one shell left and that guy was on 700 HP, I would let uh, the Conqueror make one shot and leave the Jack Panzer on one shot so I can kill the Jack Panzer for the Top Gun and for the fa Fadin's Medal. So, Fadin's Medal to kill the last tank in the game with your last shell. And uh, he would also get Top Gun, so it would be even better. 
but he decided to go for a shot and uh, Conqueror did low roll on that guy so maybe he wouldn't even get the medal but still it, it would be worth a try and uh, that guy was left on 19 HP somebody else is going to kill him of course because that is out of the ammo yeah the RT finished the guy that guy so let's see over overall this was a really nice game like five kills uh, he had two blind shots because at the end of the game he had more than 9k damage I think so it was really really good game and you can guy you guys can see the screenshots of the battle results in the description of the video I'm posting the links of the I'm posting the screenshot screenshots of the games in the description so you can check them out also so yeah what can I say more about this game I uh, well I think that's all yeah I think I said enough in the game and the, during the game so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, see you in the next video